1924, he gives us down the events that will take place in the last days. And besides that, if we look at the last sign, the gospel of the kingdom, yes, very sadly, it does not refer to church teachings or the gospel of salvation, which is part of the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of salvation is, or the gospel of Christ, Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ died, and he rose again. We stop there. But the gospel of the kingdom is, Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ died, Jesus Christ rose again, and he is coming back again. That is the gospel of the kingdom that we must preach, that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back again. And the kingdom of God is coming down to this earth to rule. So this is the king, gospel of the kingdom that must be preached, which is not preached. So we must raise up men and women of God, the lay people, even churches, to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Only then the end will come. So this is the final sign. Like when, what you said, Brother Jim, going on the air, satellite covering the whole earth, that is a fulfillment. This gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world. And we also read in Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 and 7, that an angel is flying in the heavens with an eternal gospel in his hand, mm -hmm. which is the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. And he's preaching, fear God. Yes. He's not preaching a nice message of salvation. He's preaching a real heart-thumping, hand-thumping fiery message to fear God because yes. his judgments are coming. Mm. Whether you like it or not, you must fear God. The God who created the heavens and the earth, the creation, you fear him. There's no more going to be any compromise. All those who godly, who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution because yes. the compromises will persecute them because now they are going to live a life, a standard apart from the compromising. It's the sheep and the goats that are mixed together that will be separated. And the sheep has a heart of following the shepherd all the time. The goats, even by nature, run everywhere all over the mountain. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is looking for sheep. Yes. And the second message of the three angels mm -hmm is a message warning the people of God to come out of Babylon. Come out of a compromised Christianity. Mm -hmm. You don't want to take the principles, holiness of God, and mix them together with the loose morals of the world. Which is what the hyper-grace demonic doctrine is all about. They take something from the gospel and mix it, mix it together with lies from the hell that no matter how you live, will all make go to heaven. You don't, you don't have to become a Christian because a Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist or even an atheist, the Lord Jesus has already died for you 2,000 years ago. Since he has already died for you, you don't have to confess that he is Lord. Because you are already safe in Christ. This is a false gospel that's preached today. And that's a sign. That is a sign because it is from the church of Babylon. Mm -hmm. That's existing today. And then the third message. Do not take the mark of the beast. This is another warning that's going to go out into the world. There are three angels flying in the heavens. Mm -hmm. When the Lord called me to start Angel TV, He said that angel that flies represents satellite television. So we are going on satellite. So subscribe to the channel. Do that now. And give a thumbs up so uh, a like so other people around the world can get this important, important message, important news. And God bless you guys forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Check out the playlist below in the description area. Sadhu Sadar. This is an end times channel. So check out all of the playlists. 
and get yourself up to speed. Get yourself up to date because there's a lot of things that are happening and there's a lot of things that are going to happen and they're going to be happening very quickly. And so you don't want to be shocked or stunned. You want to know what's going to be happening and you want to be kind of sort of ready so you can be a strong tower for your family, your church, and your community, and especially yourself, and that you can be prepared to make the right decisions when the time comes. God bless you guys forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.